Hi YouTube. Yes, I'm still alive. This is update 9 of the van build. I haven't got down to the Zhuk as much as I'd have liked. This is just a random mishmash of all the little bits and pieces I've been up to. First up was cutting a hole to fit the LDV Pilot gearbox adapter plate. I painted all of the metal on the floor that wasn't rusty and began removing the gear gator for a silicon repair before reassembly. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad. Next job was to start on the disc brake conversion from the Deo Lublin van. Thanks to Patrick for sending a second set of sliders through when the first were knackered. I've had calipers refurbished by Big Red before, and the results are always stunning. These calipers are as good as new. I've also hacked the corner off one of the metal plates. This normally has a track rod end uh, attached to it. It looks much more like the plate on the other side now, and you've got to basically lob that off before it'll clear. Meanwhile, at the front end, it's been more about understanding how everything is going to get plumbed in. Paul had a great idea to use one of the tensioners upside down to allow the alternator to work without pass or any of the other things that the engine originally had in the Peugeot. I also got to use a cool mechanical hacksaw to chop down one of the original Peugeot mounts to cover the hole in the cam belt casing. The 5 kilowatt fan heater system has also arrived, which once installed will mean no more operating vents with your feet. The aperture on the right hand side can be welded up to allow the Lublin servo to be fitted. Continuing the theme of trying to remove as many holes in the bodywork as possible, we're going to be fitting the LDV Pilot pedal box. As you can see, it's a tight fit, but if we cut the pedals down, it means we can finally weld up those holes in the floor. Outside, I've done a test alignment of the Suzuki Vitara aftermarket alloys. They're an inch lower overall and a lot wider, so they should help the centre of gravity and grip. Importantly, the disc and caliper setup also clears the rim, so I can get these wheels powder coated now. One of the distinguishing features of an XUD TEL is the intercooler, which sits on top of the engine, which actually makes it an interwarmer. So I've been trying to work out what will fit to the left of the radiator, working out the various capacities, different intercoolers and what will physically fit in the gap. And it turns out, as with so many other parts of the conversion so far, that a Land Rover, or in this case a Land Rover Defender intercooler, is a perfect fit. And while we're on the subject of Land Rovers, a discovery roof is mild steel, and this would give two sunroofs and two side windows if I ever decided to weld one on. So that's almost your lot, but check out this poster I got for Christmas. And this dinky little model. And Andy's jukes down in Cornwall that I saw while we were doing the bloodhound test. Danny's new ship coming over from Poland now. Really looking forward to this one. Oh, and one more thing. Please subscribe. See you next time. For actual progress.